In this video, we will discuss the new Bubbles plots available in HyperStudy 2019. We can use the Bubble selector to select additional dimensions of data to visually emphasize in the scatter plot. The selected input values and output responses are represented by varying sizes and colors of bubbles. The size and color of the bubbles is determined by values in the run data for the selected input variable or output response. Let's use HyperStudy and investigate this new feature. Let's define an optimization with four objectives. These are to minimize the volume, minimize the material cost, minimize the manufacturing cost, and finally minimize the total cost. Let's apply these objectives and move to the specifications. Here we can apply the method and then run the optimization. Now if we look at the scatter plot, we can see the standard plot of the evaluations. Here we are plotting the volume versus the total cost. Now if we click on the bubble selector, we can add additional dimensions of data such as input variables or output responses to visually emphasize the scatter plot. For size, let's select material cost, and for color. So on the plot, we can see the material cost is represented by the size. The larger size bubbles equal larger values, or in this case, higher material cost. For color, different shades of red, blue, and gray are used to visualize the range of values for the manufacturing cost. The darker the shade of red, the larger the manufacturing cost while the lighter the shade of blue, the smaller the manufacturing cost. And gray represents the median value. So now on this plot, we can visualize the volume, total cost, material cost, and manufacturing cost. Using the dropdown, let's select manufacturing cost. We can access some options for the bubble plot. We can use the scale slider to change the overall size of the bubbles. Focus changes the size of the bubbles so that the smaller sized bubbles get smaller while the larger ones stay fixed. The invert option reverses the size of the bubbles so that the smaller values are represented by the larger bubbles. Next, let's look at the color options. Here we can select discrete steps which will change the level of the color shading applied to the bubbles. The bins option specifies the number of red, blue, and gray shades used to color the bubbles. The invert option reverses the color of the bubbles so that red represents smaller values and blue represents larger values. Let's go ahead and select invert. So in addition to bubbles plots being available for the evaluation scatter plots, you can also use them on iteration scatter plots and in post-processing, Optima plots, and scatter plots. Notice how we can have multiple plots created with the bubble plots.